Hey guys, KT here. Welcome back to some more Assassin's Creed 3. Last time we actually, uh, basically planned our attack. We went, attacked a, attacked a wagon, stole the clothes from the dead men, and actually made it into the slaver, the slaver colon, I don't even know, the slaver, uh, place. Fuck, I don't even know what you want to call it. They have a lot of slaves, and we're trying to get them free, obviously. And then, mainly, I'm guessing to get tr their trust, because, uh... I, I believe that that's the whole reason behind this, right here. So, yeah, let's just free the last captives, and I believe we're gonna go after our target. More than likely. An hour of quiet was all I asked. Instead, I'm awakened not ten minutes later by this cacophonous madness. I expect an explanation, and it had best be good. How? How did this happen? My precious merchandise set free! It's unacceptable! Rest assured, I'll have the heads of those responsible. But first, first we clean up this mess. Seal the fort, kill any who try to escape. I don't care if they be one of us, or one of... them. To approach the gate is to be made a corpse! Am I understood? So that's confusing. How did we cause racket? Oh, I'm guessing... Wait, find and kill the general. What? Yeah, that's kind of weird how they say I already failed it. Were we supposed to do it before this all happened, or or what? I'm kind of confused here. Aw, oh, dang! I still don't understand why the other one's a fail. Because the general's right here. Well, that was easy. Jesus. Who are you? Name's Hatham Kenway. You don't know me, but I believe the two of you are well acquainted. I made a promise to you, Silas. One I intend to keep. What happens now? We wait. And not for very long, I suspect. Alright, that was easy, I guess. I don't even understand how I failed the first two. Because, I mean, I did kill the general. Right there, unless they're talking about a different general. Then I'm, like, confused, but... I don't know. Probably have to it's look been that several up. several weeks now since we freed the Mohawk prisoners from captivity. I had hoped their leader might make contact, but there's been only silence. My men grow restless. They want to know what comes next. And I do not have an answer. Lee alone remains active, pursuing leads, however slight. He stalks the city streets and scouts the bordering woods. Hopeful that he might make contact with one of those we saved. There was a woman there that night. It was she who helped the others to safety. If we can find her, I believe I'll have my answers. So, I watch and wait. Hopeful that my true mission might finally begin.
Wow. From a nice non-snowy area to snowy area, we're heading on to the next mission. Yay! Hello, Charles. Any luck finding our mystery woman? Word is she's been stirring up trouble just outside the city in a town called Lexington. Well, then that's where we'll begin our search. I'll meet you there. Do I need to take one? I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to take a horse. Because I doubt they'll have me, like, run all the way to the next area. Hey, doggy, how you doing? Oh, God. <laughs> Got the hiccups a little bit. So it's actually very surprising that, that we went from uh, this to uh, far on later. It's just shocking to me. And now we're actually having a chance to explore because in previous sequences we weren't allowed to explore the area unless if we weren't out in the minute the mission. Now we are. Glad they didn't just teleport me over there. I mean, this feels a little more interactive in my opinion. So, yeah. Even though it's pretty uh, far to get to the location. Alright. Man, I don't, I don't know what to talk about, really. I mean... Hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> I mean, seriously, we're just riding on forward. Ooh. Oh, hold on. Okay. I dismount. <laughs> Jeez, I thought I could stand on the horse and jump it, but I guess not. Jeez, how far are we from the actual mission of area? I oh my god! <laughs> that is far! And they don't even have a fastest a fast travel system. Wow. Okay. That's nice to know. Jesus. It's just so... What the... Oh my god, sometimes I feel like I, this game kind of likes to make me run. I don't know if this is like a huge thing that I did not like about the game. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure what made me not like this game when I first played it. I don't know if it was like because of glitches or what. Because I know this wasn't my favorite Assassin's Creed. Like all I ever did was be like, Okay, I'm just gonna beat the game, and then I'm then after that I was completely done with the game. I wouldn't touch it, like I wouldn't touch the multiplayer. I wouldn't do nothing with this game afterwards, and it, I don't know why. I mean, the game is pretty all right. I I, I don't know why. I, I guess it just wasn't exciting like the other ones. Like in reality, I don't even know the g whole goal. Like, I mean, Ezio was all about revenge and wanting revenge on the Templars for what he did with his family. Altair did it because he was loyal to the cause and actually uh, cared about the Brotherhood. And when it comes to this, I don't know. I just feel like there's no motivation to feel for the character. And I'm, I'm guessing that's just because of the beginning, but... Yeah, I just feel like there's nothing to make me say this game is amazing. Like, I mean, let me put it like this. I hate the lockpicking, and here's, here's why. It's so sensitive that, here, I'll, I'll give you an example right here. Even though it seemed great in the beginning, it's really very sensitive. Like, I mean, seriously. I actually spent forever on the second part of, uh... The lock picking. See? Right there. I, I'm bare. Here, I'm going to hold it like it is. I'm not moving anything right now. And right near the end, I'm pretty sure it's going to stop. And if not, I'll be. Sur oh my god. It actually went through. I thought for a second it was going to stop right near the end. Because I know that's what happened when I went on the whole uh, viewpoint search. I, I don't know. I think there's something about this game that actually turned me completely off to it. And I don't know what it is. 
I'm just taking guesses. Okay, travel to the frontier, got it. Yep. Let me guess, after we travel this, it's gotta have us travel further. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like that's just the way it is. Yep, knew it. At least they just give you the horse right away. They realize, oh, you might have left your horse behind, don't worry. I got you, fam. <laughs> okay. Jeez, I, I just don't know. I don't know what... I guess because of the personality-wise of Haytham? I, I don't know. It just... It just is not... I do not understand why I don't like this game. I really don't. Because, I mean, this is the first Assassin's Creed game where I actually did not explore... I actually just got so turned off by it that I was like, you know what, I just want to beat it and be done with it. Like, I didn't want to try anything that the game had to offer. But I don't remember why. Shocking to think that, but, I mean, seriously. And it's really hard to turn me away from a game. Like, I mean, if you guys d don't know, I have... I've played... Sonic 06 and liked it. If I can, if I like that game, how come this game turns me off so much? I, I don't, I don't understand. Like, I'm very confused. Like, it's a good game. I'm playing it now and I find it amazing, but back then I don't understand why I hated it. I don't know. Like, I never came back to this game. Whenever, like, I looked at it, I'm like, for some reason, like, I have a bad memory of it. I don't know why. Which is very odd. Okay. Hey, Lee, how you doing? Unconvinced? Wow. Have you found her? Uh, she's made camp not too far from here. Excellent. Well, the sooner we're done... The sooner we can get out of this cold. I mean, I'm you could have automatically abandoned me. Sir. Oh? Braddock is insisting I return to service under him. I've tried to beg off to no avail. No doubt he's still angry about losing Pitcairn. To say nothing of the shaming we gave him. Do as he asks. In the meantime, I'll work on having you released. I'm sorry for the trouble. Not your fault. Huh. So wait. If he used to... If he used to be a part of his whole arm... His whole crew, then... We're too late. Fire's only just been snuffed. Snow recently disturbed. She's close. Onyx. These tracks are fresh. It must be hers. Seems she took to higher ground. Out of the snow and into the trees. There's a wolf. Hey, wolf, how you doing? So, yeah, I have to, uh... Man, I don't, I don't remember. Wait, hold on. Gonna take a guess that this is the path she took, but jeez, how do I? I just don't remember what I was saying. Oh right, I was I was saying. So he's he did not recognize you when you threw dirt on him, and he chased you down. That makes no sense, to be honest. You used to work for him, and he couldn't tell the difference if it was you or not. It's very weird. Charles, before he grows suspicious. I can handle things from here. 
but nothing. Go! Stop running! I only wish to talk! <laughs> Why, I love how we're just I running not through the snow. Your enemy! Please just hear me out! Okay, I'm just gonna Come take on, this. Woman. Only let me speak! I, I am trying to. You know what? I'm gonna end it here. So if you guys enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for your new channel. Also check out the Twitter and Facebook page. The next part, we'll find out who this mysterious woman is. So yeah, bye.